Well, good morning, guys and girls. How's it going today? Yep, we're in the tire shop. There's lots of tires. Lots and lots and lots of tires. But remember yesterday's vid? That inner tire, I plugged it and, uh, yeah. I just said, screw it. We're going to put two new tires on this side of the trailer. And then I'll have my spare back. Tread's still good on this side, so I ain't gonna worry too much about the ones on this side right now. We'll just get a couple new ones put on the other side and life will be good and the DOT won't give me too much grief. So yeah, we're at quality tire. That's where we are, guys. They'll get us fixed up and I'll get out of here and we'll be back to hauling bales this afternoon. Talk to you then. Alrighty. Well, we made her home, finally, and we're finally heading out to the field to pick some bales. Like, it's like freaking 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon already. And things, some days when you want things to just hustle right along and go just bing, bang, boom, it just doesn't quite work out that way. Anybody that's been in the farming world knows that. And that especially when you work on farm and off farm 95% of the time well I shouldn't say 95 75% of the time things don't go just clickety bing bang boom there's always there's always a curveball that gets thrown at you how's that sound so anyway uh, landowner of this this piece of farmland right here of this farm where we made these straw bales way back when at the very beginning he wants these bales off of here so the guy that rents the land can either do some plow down on it or work it up somehow or other so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get these freaking bales off of here whether we actually finish it today or not is a different story because there's like 86 or 90 bales out here yet mm, so but we will work at getting the bales out of here just the same so that's what we're doing here today and I'll bring you guys back when the wife gets out here with the truck which should be shortly so a while back when I was picking bales I had mentioned how I grabbed the bales kind of off to the side of the bucket not right in the center with the grapple like this now you can see why see how that bale is sticking out the side there a little bit and it's not the bucket sticking out the side this way I don't hook the hook the bales that are already on the trailer with the outside edge of the friggin bucket right because that would just slice all the twines and make one hell of a mess so that's why we always grab them off to the side a little bit yeah now we'll just continue on continue on we've got lots to pick and choose from here so won't be that big a deal though we're real close to home so we'll be able to make a lot of trips and get a lot done here this afternoon before it gets dark talk to you guys in a little bit what did you do Nothing. <laughs> so for all the ladies out there, if you're ever out in a stubble field and you gotta pee, and you're gonna pee in the field, don't squat too low. Because if this stubble is like eight inches tall or more, you could get a poke. <laughs> right, babe? <laughs> there she is, guys. That's what a load of straw looks like on there. At 68 inch bales. We got lots more to haul. But we got the far side of the field completely cleaned right out. Here, let me take you through here. I'll show you. There you go. So all that's cleaned out all the way, all the way to the back. Now there is some bales way back there that I got to grab. So when we come back out to the field, we'll just grab the tractor and we're going to boogie to the far end and we'll work our way back this way. These bales right here, these little, these ones right here, 
These ones are smaller for use inside the barn. So those ones will be stacking separately. And then these three, they'll get loaded at the end, I guess. And so there's about 14 of them. Whew, this dust. 14 of them uh, smaller ones. So yeah, we'll continue on, continue on. I don't know, what time is it? 5.30 and this is what, load number four? So, we're doing about two loads per hour, so 28 bales an hour, so that ain't so bad. Anyways, talk to you guys later. What's wrong, babe? What do you see? Huh? What do you see? You see deer? You see your white tails coming out? Actually, I think that's a muley. But... Here's another load, and there's like eight bales left in this field. So we'll get this load home, get her friggin' unloaded, and get back, grab the last eight, and then we're done in this field. So with that, guys. They were coming. They were coming? They were coming. Not anymore. They're going to see me, and they're going to run away. Probably. With that... I'm gonna let you guys go. We'll pick you guys back up here tomorrow, maybe. See what happens tomorrow. And uh, you guys all know what to do. Tell your friends and neighbors to come on board. Muley. Yep, they're muleys. Tell all your friends and neighbors to come on board, subscribe. Get them in here. Let's make this happen, right, babe? got to get more subscribers. How are we getting more subscribers? What do we got to do to get more subscribers? Go hunting. Elk Go hunting? hunting? Elk hunting. Elk hunting. Oh. And there they go. There they run. There's only three. There's only three of them. But what? there they go. Okay. Anyway. Let's try and work this out to get more subs. And uh, comment. Give us the old thumbs up if you want. If not, I don't care. Your choice. The mama and two babies. Babe, what do we say at the end of her? Get her done. Get her done. On second thought, maybe we'll just end this with a fireball. How about that one, eh? So what the heck is going to be tomorrow? The sky and the camera looks super red, but actually it isn't all that red. I think tomorrow's our last one. But there you go guys, nighttime shot, and it is, what time is it babe? Uh, 6.46. 6.46. In an hour, it's going to be dark. Talk to you guys tomorrow.